pizza party. Anna was visiting her friend Brad one Saturday. Brad's mother taught them how to make pizza. They rolled the dough, spread tomato sauce on it, and added lots and lots of cheese. Then they baked it until it was ready and cut the pizza four times into eight slices. I can hardly wait, Anna said. I'm starving. Me too, Brad agreed. We each get half a pie. Four slices each, Anna said. Yum. Rocky wagged his tail in agreement. But just as they were about to start eating, Henry came over. That smells great, Henry said. Can I have some? What do we do now, Anna asked. We've got three people and only eight slices. Well, we could each take two slices, Henry suggested, but that leaves two slices left over, Brad said. How do we decide who gets them? So they baked another pizza. They rolled the dough, spread some tomato sauce on it, and added lots and lots of cheese. Let's put some mushrooms on too, Henry said. After it had baked, they cut this new pizza three times into six slices. Now we each get two slices, Brad said. These slices are even bigger, Anna said. Let's eat, Henry said. But just as they were about to eat, Julia and Erica stopped by. Pizza, Erica said, my favorite. Do you have any for us? Julia asked. Everyone looked at the pizza. There were five people and six slices. What do we do? asked Anna. There's no way to split this up evenly. Wait, said Brad. We still have the first pizza, but those slices are smaller than this pizza, Anna said. That's okay, Julia said. Eric and I just had ice cream cones at the movies, so we'll take the smaller slices. It still doesn't work, Henry said. With the two pizzas added together, we have 14 slices and five people. We're short one slice. We're short more than one slice, Brad said. Look. Brad points out the window at his dog, Rocky, who is eating half of the first pie. So how many slices do we have left? Henry asked. Rocky solved our problem, Brad said. Now we each have two slices. Yum, they all shouted together and everyone began to eat. The end.